If you don't have a fat wallet yet, never fear because I'm gonna be your wallet's personal trainer and it's time to get swole. There have been countless examples of people with low incomes who learn how to build wealth over time. And one of my favorite examples is a guy by the name of Ronald Reed. So Ronald Reed was a janitor. And what Ronald Reed did was he saved a large portion of his income as much as he possibly could and put him into blue chip stocks. So what are blue chip stocks? These are companies like General Electric, Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, staple companies that have been around for a very long time. And Ronald Reed, as a janitor, died with a fortune of $8 million that nobody knew that he had because he was so frugal, he lived his life simply and did not spend a large portion of his income. And Ronald Reed is just one example of many people down the line who have done this over time. There's a great book and I challenge every single person to read this. If you're learning how to build wealth, I challenge you to read this book. It's called The Millionaire Next Door. In fact, a few moments later, we're back. In fact, I have two separate copies. One is The Millionaire Next Door and then there's The Next Millionaire Next Door as well. These books are fantastic and I challenge every single person to read these books. The reason why is The Millionaire Next Door teaches you a number of things. One of which it teaches you that most people who are really wealthy don't actually have the flashy wealth that you see over time. Most people, if you work a standard job, if you work at a regular job, you can still build wealth over time. Small amounts of money paired with time can compound to very large amounts of money. And we're gonna talk about that here in this video today. I'm gonna talk through all of this with you because this is so important to understand. You can change your family's financial trajectory just by learning this stuff, learning how to build wealth. And the cool thing is a lot of millionaires are people you would not suspect to be millionaires. That's why that's called the millionaire next door. They live right next door and you have no idea. Because wealth isn't about the flashy stuff. Wealth is about creating time for yourself and creating time for your life. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna go through step-by-step step some of the secrets of the wealthy that you can learn so that you can build wealth for yourself because every single person in this world, I truly believe can build wealth. And that is the mission of this channel. That is the mission of Master Money and everything that we do. We wanna make sure that every person understands how to build wealth. So if you have a low salary, if you don't make a lot of money, and if your family hasn't made a lot of money for a very long period of time, this video can change your life because we know here at Master Money, you can build wealth, you can change your family's trajectory, and you can do everything in your power to do this. This is my passion. You can hear it in my voice because this is how you can do it, is you can build wealth over time and change your family's life forever. So what we're gonna do is let's jump in to the secret formulas of the wealthy. Now, before we dive in, let me say this first. There is no way to get rich quick. If you fall for a get rich quick scheme, that is your fault, not the other person's. You need to make sure that there's no real way to get rich quick and you have to understand that going into this. But here's secret number one. What a lot of poor people do is they take their extra money and they buy liabilities. You could think of a liability as something maybe like your cell phone, buying a brand new car that goes down in value over time buying extra stuff that you really don't need. That is what a lot of poor people do, and they buy liabilities to make them look more wealthy. They're trying to impress people they don't even care about. But what you need to do is buy more assets, and then with those assets, you can buy liabilities. So what is an asset? You can think of something like a stock, a rental property. You can buy a business. All of these different things are assets, things that produce money and put money into your pocket. Now, what's a liability? It's things that take money out of your pocket. That's the most simple way to put this. So buying more assets over time is the most powerful thing that you can do. The easiest place to start is the stock market. And the stock market is a place where most people can invest. Now you can invest with as little as $10 into the stock market with things like fractional shares. So it's the easiest place for people to start. And most people, if you look at studies of millionaires, Ramsey Solutions did a study that looked at 10,000 millionaires. And the majority of those millionaires, 80% of those millionaires made their first million by investing their money in their 401k. So that tells you right there that that's the easiest entry point and a place where you can become a multimillionaire just by investing your dollars into the stock market. Wealthy secret number two is that the wealthy focus on their income side of the equation more than cutting their expenses out. Now, if you understand what I'm saying here, this can absolutely change your life because the income side of your equation, the income side of this formula, meaning your income minus your expenses equals what you have left over, or that is the gap. The gap between your income and expenses, if you can grow that gap, you will become very, very wealthy over time. So growing the gap between your income and your expenses, the income side of the equation means that you can make an infinite amount of money. 
you can only cut back so much. You have needs that you have to fulfill. Things like food, water, shelter, but you can make an infinite amount of money through businesses, through side hustles, through your own job every single day. So knowing this means that money can be abundant if you go earn more. So focusing your time on the income side of the equation means that you can absolutely change your life. So if you're on a low salary, or if you're not making a lot of money, the income side of the equation is what I want you to focus on because you don't have much that you can cut back. Hey, times are tough. Life is expensive now. So making sure that you can make more money is what will change your life dramatically. And I truly believe this. This is so incredibly powerful. And I'm so glad you're watching this video because this is the point that I really want you to take home is making more money will help you significantly. Now, if you're overspending, maybe you make one too many Amazon purchases, then you need to cut back some of that spending as well. But making sure that you grow the income equation is powerful. So how do you do this? The first thing you wanna do is negotiate your salary at your current job. If you're making $10 an hour and you really can't get by, you wanna see, hey, how can I make 12, 14, $16 an hour? And how can I make as much as the top level managers? So you figure out, hey, what are the top level managers doing? You go meet with your boss and say, what can I do to get on track to make more money? And you negotiate your salary that way. We have a free ebook down below that talks through exactly the step-by-step -step system that we use to negotiate our salary. So check out that ebook down below if you wanna learn how to do that. The next thing you wanna do is if you're not making enough money at your job, maybe there's not enough hours, there's not enough shifts, or in addition, you're at a dead-end job that you really don't like, or maybe you're working in a cubicle and you just are trying to get by, then what you want to do is look at potentially starting a side hustle. Now, there are so many different side hustles out there, but the place I would start and the easiest place to start is the internet. So if you have skills or you can build up skills, you can rent out your time on websites like Upwork. We use Upwork all the time to utilize different contractors so that they can edit our videos like this one here, or so that they can edit our podcasts. Or we have assistants now that we've hired through Upwork. There's all different things that we utilize Upwork for. And if you have a skill, you can definitely use Upwork to make more money. In addition, you can go out and start a website or a blog. You can start creating content on YouTube. You can start doing a million different things. In addition, another way to make more money, and hint, hint, this is my favorite for beginners, is that you can go out and flip items. Flipping items is one of the best ways to go make money. Go to garage sales, go to Walmart, scan those items, see if you can sell them on Amazon or eBay. And flipping items, especially items that you know about, if you have a passion about something, maybe you're really into something like Pokemon cards. Well, if you know a lot about Pokemon cards, Go find undervalued Pokemon cars and sell them for more on eBay. This is the way to really make some more cash in your spare time. And if you surround it around something you enjoy and something you like to do, that's even better. Maybe you love fitness. Go look at fitness equipment, flip that. There's so many different things that you can do that are out there. So making sure you figure out what's best for you is amazing. But increasing your income is the second step. The third secret of the wealthy is that the wealthy invest their money no matter what. Wealthy people always find a way to consistently invest over time because when it comes to investing, the way to actually grow your wealth is to be consistent every single month. So that is why we want you to grow that income so you have a little bit of extra cash so that you can invest your dollars. Now, staying consistent with investing, one of the best ways to do this is to automate your money. So when you automate your money every single month, you can set up something like a brokerage account, which is the bank account where you can invest your dollars and you automate that money, meaning you automatically transfer that money every time you get paid into that brokerage account will make a world of difference for you. Because what's happening here is you're allowing your money to transfer automatically and that money's going to grow. You don't have to rely on your willpower. But investing every single month is incredibly powerful. Secret number four is millionaires don't keep all their eggs in one basket. What does this mean? diversification. So millionaires don't just invest all of their money into one stock. What millionaires do is they diversify their portfolio. So I love things like index funds and ETFs. And we just released a course called Index Fund Pro, which is going to show you exactly how to invest for beginners in index funds and ETFs. But in addition, I also like to invest in real estate and rental properties as well. So having a good diversified portfolio is incredibly important because if one asset doesn't do well, let's say for example, that you buy a stock and that stock doesn't do well and it goes down in value, well, all of your net worth is gonna go down with it. But if you buy a bunch of different stocks and one of them goes down, the rest of them can lift them up. It's not gonna hurt you as bad. So having a diversified portfolio and having different assets is something that's really gonna help you build wealth over time. The three I like are stocks, real estate, and buying businesses. Wealthy secret number five is that wealthy people don't try to time the market. 
Now, this is something a lot of people see on TV. Maybe you've seen The Wolf of Wall Street or you've seen a bunch of different things where there's people day trading, trying to get in the, into stocks and out of stocks. But trying to time the market and trying to predict the future is a fool's errand. You don't wanna try to predict the future. What you wanna do is just consistently invest and stick to your plan. There have been numerous studies out there of people who try to day trade in and out of stocks or in and out of real estate. And what happens is the people who just stay steady and keep consistently investing their money, those are the ones that come out on top and their performance is almost always better. Along those same lines is secret number six, which millionaires don't panic sell. Meaning millionaires don't try to sell their stocks when the market is down. Panic selling, and this is something I really want you to understand, especially if you're a new investor. When the market goes down, that means stocks are actually on sale. But what a lot of people do is they sell when the market is down and they buy when the market is high. But what you wanna do is buy low, sell high. A lot of people have heard that, a lot of people know that, but if you buy high and sell low, you are never gonna build wealth. So the average investor, what we need to be doing is just consistently investing every single month, no matter what the market is doing. If the market goes down, that means you're getting shares on sale. And if the market goes up, you're just sticking to your plan and investing consistently. That is how wealth is built. And that is how millionaires invest over time. And millionaire secret number seven, the last point I want you to focus on is millionaires focus a large portion of their time growing their savings rate as well. So as that income increases, you don't want your lifestyle to increase with that. You can grow your income. And what a lot of people do is they buy more cars, they buy more fancy houses, or they buy more fancy jewelry. What you want to do is you want to take that extra income as it grows and put it towards your savings rate, towards your emergency fund, towards your investments, because those investments are gonna spit off more cash for you. And as those assets grow and they spit off more cash and that income keeps growing, what happens is then you can use those assets to buy your liabilities. It is much better to buy a rental property that cash flows that can actually pay for your car payment instead of just putting that same amount of cash into a car payment. It makes a major difference because that rental property is going to be paying you for the rest of your life. So using these assets to pay for your liabilities by focusing on your savings rate so that you can buy more assets is how you can change your life and build a tremendous amount of wealth. And the other thing to note is that if you start saving only 10% of your income, a lot of your financial gurus are gonna tell you to save 10% of your income. If you do that, the math comes out to you be working 51 years. You wanna grow that savings rate over time. And the way I like to talk about doing this is growing at 1% every single month because it's a slow, gradual pace that will allow you to not really feel it over time and you can get to 20, 30, 40% of your income. And as you start to grow your income, more money's going into assets. Those start to snowball. Those start to grow, spit off more cash for you. And eventually they're gonna spit off enough cash where you don't have to work anymore. And that's the amazing power of building wealth is because it gives you your time back and it gives you your freedom. Listen, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't forget to make friends in the comments. High five your friends in the comments. Give them a fist bump. Do whatever you want to do, but let's make this a community that is positive. Listen, I appreciate every single one of you. Can't wait to see you on the next video.